All right, so what is going on guys? So in today's video, I'm going to be doing something similar I did to last year where I review one of the best-selling laptops on Amazon. Surprisingly, the best-selling laptop on Amazon is still the video I made last year. So I wanted to dive a little bit deeper and see what the rest of the list had to offer. So at the time of me purchasing this laptop, this is the HP 15 2024NR horrible name. The MacBook Air, which I have reviewed plenty of times on this channel, is ranked number three, which I'm not surprised. It's one of my highly recommended products, especially if you are an upcoming college student. But without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this. Now, I'm not particularly a fan of HP laptops of, I guess, the modern age, just because of uh, when you work in a corporate environment, HP laptops are just not the best in my opinion, but they get the job done. Um, I'm also really not a fan of HP's unboxing experience. It's very uh, not that exciting. So as you can see, take a look at the box. It's very just, <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's very uh, basic. Let's go ahead and, right, like this is not a, pleasing unboxing experience. Uh, so we have our charging and cable stuff, and that's pretty much what we get inside the box here. Um, we have a 45 watt power adapter, some product information that no one's gonna read, and this is pretty much like clamped shut. See, HP, like, look at my hands. They're getting ashy, and now I have to go get lotion. All right, uh, now my hands smell like vanilla. Okay, so now we have the product in front of us. It is quite weighty as well. You guys like that ASMR? This looks like a laptop a company would give me on my first day. No joke. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a smell and see what it smells like. Doesn't really smell like anything. Uh, pretty basic. Made in China. Nice venting on the bottom here. Uh, but let's go ahead and get this opened up. All right, so you can't really open it up with one hand or one finger because the base is just not heavy enough and the hinge isn't that great. But, you know, at this price point, I mean, it's, I think it's like, what, 500 something dollars? Um, you should be able to open it with one hand. Um, so the power button kind of blends in here, right there. All right, so let's look around the ports real quick. So we have our power adapter and then two USB ports. And then on the other side, we have a HDMI jack and a Type-C port, which isn't too bad. So HP, I'm not having the greatest unboxing experience. Um, so looking at this, this might've been because of I, my accidental sl slam, because I assumed you could open it with one hand or one finger, I should say. Um, and saying my CMOS isn't valid, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit enter and let it reboot itself. All right, so while this gets boot up here, I wanted to mention something about the Amazon listing, at least at the time of recording this video. There's actually two options you can pick from. There's one with Windows 10 and one with Windows 11. Now the Windows 11, I believe was like 10, $15 more. Um, I think with everything going towards, like eventually we're gonna be on Windows 11. So I think it's probably just better for people to pay that extra 10, 15 bucks and just go ahead and get Windows 11. So. Right now, I'm booted up in here. I don't hear Cortana, which is a plus. So while Microsoft is probably stealing all my data, even though I told it not to, I want to point out a couple things about this laptop before we actually get into Windows. So as you can see, the outside bezel here is like this textured finish, and I really enjoy how um, HP put a lot of detail here. So it's nice that it's you know not that just a black matte finish that you see on normal laptops. On top of that, we have these rubber pads um, around the entire laptop. So that's nice that we have that. And then we have the camera right here in the center. Now it's telling me my laptop is low and out of all the laptop reviews I've done on this channel, this is probably the first laptop that has come to me dead, which is surprising. Um, but I'm finally into Windows and gotta say Windows 11 and its wallpapers, I love them. 
Um, the other thing I wanted to point out at this price point, $550, you know, this is where things start to become a deal breaker for me. So first thing is that this keyboard is not backlit. So if you intend on doing stuff at night or later in the evenings, um, it's going to be a bit of a pain typing on this laptop, um, especially if you're a person who is dependent on the function row key or you don't really have the keyboard memorized, I'd highly recommend getting a, I don't know, like a, a night lamp or just, you know, have some ambient light around you while you're using your laptop. But at this price point, backlight keyboard should be a thing. Um, the other thing is that the screen is actually not touchscreen. This isn't something that's, you know, that big of a factor for me, but um, for $550, it would have been nice to see. Not that I'm expecting it, but that's one thing you have to also keep in mind. Um, this is a 15 inch laptop as well. So we do have the numpad over here and it's <laughs> a lot bigger than what people might expect. And our trackpad is a little bit off to the side, but now let's go ahead and look at the display a little bit further. Right, let's go to Greece. Oh, we also get to hear the speakers as well. I uh, do not want to hear this ad. All right, let's see if we can uh, crank this to 4K60 if we can. Pretty good. go jump to a different part of the video. I mean, I can get lost in Greece just looking at this. Let's jump to one more spot here. Let's go to four. Um, listen, I'm Ellie. I, I rent a car with All right, I mean, this is a pretty nice screen. I believe this is an IPS screen, which no complaints there. I'm glad to see an IPS on a display like this. Just let me know. It's basically the blurred blur background effect, but let's just get into this video. So for the first time ever, I flew business class internationally with Qatar Airways on my way back to the US. And listen, I've been given three different... Speakers are okay. Um, they're definitely not clear, so do keep that in mind. Uh, but let's go ahead and look at the specs that we have on this laptop here. So this does come with the 11th gen chip, so it's not the new 12th gen outer lake chips that Intel has, um, but these are still good chips nonetheless, especially from the 10th generation. This is the i5-1135G7. We have eight gigabytes of RAM and surprisingly a Wi-Fi 6 card as well. And the storage is 256 gigabytes of NVMe storage. Um, so let's go ahead and Test out the keyboard. That's what I'm excited about. 50 shades of black, whoa. Anyway, let's get started. Uh, well, not bad, right? Uh, keyboard, I think it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to. Um, I don't think it's anything bad. It's definitely not my style of a keyboard. It's pretty smooth overall, but like I said before, there's no backlight. So at least for me, that's a pretty big deal breaker. So kind of sucks that HP didn't put that on there. But in terms of the overall layout, I think it's a pretty nice design. Uh, the keys are definitely legible. They're more of a black or a darker aesthetic in terms of the imprint of the letter. I really don't like when manufacturers have this type of metallic silver color and then they add another silver on the letters themselves so nice to see that hp is using a darker letter font here um, so now let's test out the camera see what it looks like not probably going to be impressed um, but let's go ahead and open up the video here all right so this is the microphone and video quality test on the hp 2024 nr uh horrible name once again but overall i think this camera actually looks pretty good. I wasn't expecting it to be like this, but do keep in mind, this is a pretty good lighting. So if I can uh, shut my lighting off and let's see how uh, it looks. Oh, what the? Turn off. There we go. Um, It's still not that bad. It's actually still pretty good for the most part. So I would say that this camera, depending on how the microphone sounds, I'd say this is 
definitely passable. All right, let me turn my lights back on. So, I mean, this isn't really that compelling of a product. I think I know why the Acer Aspire is number one, because if I had the money, I'd probably go for the Acer instead. Um, only because of a few things, the port selection, I think the port selection is better. I think the overall build quality as well is better on the Acer. And with the Acer laptop, you can also have the choice or the luxury between choosing AMD or Intel, depending on your price point. And uh, honestly, this might be one of the first laptops where I'm going to say I am not a fan, especially for the price point. I feel like they cut too many corners when trying to build this laptop, and it definitely shows. Um, for one, backlight keyboard. I know some people might be like, why am I always harping on that? Until you use a laptop at night or you use a laptop with backlighting and you go to one without one, you will know why backlight keys are very important and I would say essential for people. Because if you think about it, most of the time you're doing stuff throughout the day and then at night you kind of want to get stuff done. Um, so kind of sucks that you don't have backlight keyboards, but I'm done talking about that topic. Um, the camera overall though, I thought was pretty good. The display as well is also really good. Um, I just don't think that for the price you're paying, let me look again, I think it's like what, 500 and something dollars. And supposedly the list price is 650. So if that's true, that's an even bigger scam because there's no way. Um, but this is my first impressions of the HP 15 DY 2024NR. Uh, maybe the 14 inch is gonna be a little bit better because you know that one comes with AMD and it might just be in a different type of build style. Um, but if you guys enjoy videos like this, if you want me to review, you know, not always the top end market, um, cause it's always nice to see what is in, you know, the middle of the pack, the lower of the pack, um, see what, you know, what majority of people are buying, especially laptops that are not in the Apple ecosystem. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I appreciate every sub like and comment. And as always guys, much love HP. If you're watching this video, please have your laptop charged at least like halfway before you ship it out to someone. Thank you.